hello you are welcome to the special aspect of my tutorial so i call this tutorial special question because what we are going to deal with one popular algorithm so this question you see here is a special type of algorithm called the bubble sort so let's say manually if we were to be doing this we are going to compare is four greater than five so if it is true which is not true so we'll move to the next one and then we'll compare is five greater than three and that's true so because of this we'll swap the positions of five and what three so i like to show this to you with an animation okay okay so we have the six and five so to compare six and five if six is greater than five then it will change the position okay so it will be doing this over and over now compare is six greater than three and then it will just change it compare six and one and then if six and one else if six is still greater than one then it will change the position so it will keep doing this and this now look at the six and eight since six is not greater than eight to move to the next step okay and then eight is greater than seven it also change the position so that's what it is going to do over and over and over again until it sorts everything in the vector from smallest towards the biggest okay so this is what the algorithm is going to do and it is called the bubble sort so let's quickly analyze the question right here we have for for j equals one in steps of one to four and then we have for i equals one in steps of one to three so we have if a i is greater than a i plus one okay so now we have i to be equal to one so if i is equal to one a i is going to be four and a i plus one is going to be five is four greater than five no that's not true so the first run this code is not going to be executed this code right here won't be executed and now in the second run so when i is equal to two it will compare five and then three so it's five greater than three that is true and so per the algorithm it is going to swap them so let's see how it we, we swap them so what you do is that we get ai so which is a2 so a2 is going to be five and then we store that one into a temporary variable okay and then what we do is that we get the tray which is ai plus one and then we push it into ai so ai is what the position of five so now five here will be changed towards tray and then when we finish with that one what you do is ai plus one right here so we assign ai plus one which is which was initially the position of the tray and then we put the five inside that particular position so at the first run we are supposed to be having four four three five and one okay so this is what we'll get in the first run so we'll go again when i is equal to three so we'll check the third index so it's five greater than one that is true so because of that we'll swap the positions of five and what one so we are going to so at the end of the second uh, the third loop we are going to have four three one five okay so this is what we'll have so when this one is done it will go over and then do this over and over and over so we can now see where this is going to is trying to sort the vector in what ascending order okay by changing constantly comparing the number before and after if before is greater than the number after it it then it changes them so because of this we are going to have one to be the first element after the sort and then having three as the second four and then five so this should be our final answer after the sort okay so this is how this loop is going to work okay so i hope you understand this one and so then, if, if you if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like it subscribe and then share with friends thanks for watching